Hey, Professor Black. So for this week ethics video, I'm gonna be doing it on chapter 26. And Gillette, she's um, a college student who I think goes to school in Savannah, Georgia. She's from Mobile, Alabama. And she took a news writing and editing course. She's a creative nonfiction major. And she was not excited about this course, but then later on, they went ahead in the course and went ahead and did the, like local they reported on local news and interviewed local news and stuff like that so she got really into it so she did like this project and this project is to produce a multimedia multimedia installation for a group exhibition in savannah georgia like a gallery basically so she will go she went ahead and did these did these like business meetings with these small business owners who were african-american and she felt really uncomfortable and she, she, she felt like she was walking on eggshells in these interviews because she didn't want um, their story to not be heard because of her. You know, she's white and she she felt like, wow, I'm in this privileged situation. And uh, like every, you know, a lot of times when you're in these predicaments, people who are less than fortunate than you don't get their stories told the right way. So her whole problem was that going through these interviews she wanted to make sure that she was doing the best of her ability to keep her her opinions and um to keep the stories as straightforward as possible told from the um people being interviewed and um so i think when i read this i understood what she meant i mean like she's a white woman documenting on small you know small african-american companies like you know small businesses and she's like what like why would they even like like why would they believe me that i'm gonna put their story out there you know so i think when she had like these decision making processes and like trying to seek counsel she went about it the right way you know she um she basically said that everyone has their own story to tell, but not everyone has a podium. So she made sure when the people were telling their story that um, she was just being the messenger, you know? So I think that she went about this whole situation very ethically. I don't understand why she was so, um, I guess, nervous or so undecisive about doing this. I think it was a great opportunity for her. Obviously, she was, I think both sides benefited from the situation, the interviewers were able to get their story out there and she was able to have this as an experience on her resume. So it was an equal hand at play. And um, the preamble of Society of Professional Journalism Co Codes of Ethics says, be vigilant and co courageous about holding those with power accountable, give voice to the voiceless. And I think that she did a great job giving voice to the voiceless, um, voice to the voiceless, basically the interviewers, giving them a voice through her and telling them their story. So I feel like this made me really ethical and more aware when I do go out the field and do these type of interviews.